Krishna. Welcome back to the series of discussing Vastu Shastra. So today's uh, session we'll be discussing about the entrance. Oma Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Chalakaya Chakshurun Mulitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kalpa Daru Bhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhya Evacha Patitam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So entrance, entrance to a plot or entrance to a building which is constructed on the plot. Both are actually very significant. Preferably, as we said, the plot as well as the building should be square or rectangle. So while planning the entrance to the plot or building, these are the, some of the rules we will um, follow or keep in the mind. As you see in this diagram, the perimeter of the land on all the four sides is divided into nine equal parts on all the four sides. So east side, west side, north, south, all the four sides are uh, divided into nine equal parts. So if we go in the clockwise pattern starting from the northeast, we get total 32 portions or 32 uh, possible locations for the doors. So as you see in this diagram, uh, on the east side, the location 3 and 4 is auspicious. Similarly, um, on the south side, you see the location 12 is uh, considered auspicious. And uh, Similarly, on the north side, it is 27, 28, and 29th quadrant is auspicious. Whereas on the west side, it is 20 and 21. These are auspicious uh, entrances. So when the door is planned from those portions of the land or the building, those entrances are considered auspicious. Now let's try to look into how does it really matter the entrance. Entrance to a land or a building is very crucial because that is the place from where everyone passes through while getting access to. So when we are going inside the building or coming out of the building or going on the plot or going outside of the plot, that door or entrance is considered a very crucial place where we pass through. Everyone has to pass through the entrance. So therefore, it's very, very auspicious. It's a very crucial aspect of uh, Vastu Shastra. It has to be planned properly. Here you can see in this chart, there are different uh, results for all the 32 locations. So one may plan accordingly um, because some of the some of the locations are extremely unconducive or detrimental to one's uh, you know progress in life. Now, entrance in a land, on a land or in a building on all the four sides you know, in the specified auspicious locations, of course. So when you have door on the, all the four sides, that kind of uh, uh, plot or the building is considered very auspicious. It's called Sarvato Bhadra. It's all auspicious. It brings a lot of uh, positive energy to the residents of that plot or building. Now, that is considering the location of the door, but the door itself also has to be planned properly in terms of dimensions. So generally when you talk about the door, door has width and it has height. So width and height also need to be planned properly. According to the scriptures, there are eight door dimensions. So, these are the eight door dimensions. Uh, 
what are these dimensions we will discuss in detail but these are the eight dimensions they are called dhvaja dhvaja dwar dhumra dwar simha dwar shva dwar rishabh dwar khara dwar gaja dwar and kaka dwar dhvaja means a flag which it signify the flag of victory generally in the kings in the ancient time they used to have the flag for their even the country every country has their own flag so flag signifies the flag of victory so dhvaja dwar actually indicates a person who has planned dhvaja dwar in their plot or in their building generally attract victory in life dhumra means smoke it creates lot of uncertainty or or uh, unclarity in life no similarly uh, third simha simha dwara is especially reserved for the temples it is very auspicious store which only reserved for the temples it's not to be utilized by people in general or even for the businesses so this is very crucial it is to be only used by the temples simma indicates lion lion means one who swallows away everyone can can defeat all the opposition and be victorious on the other hand dhaja the first one it and generally makes a person almost like a king king in his own circles a lot of success fame wealth is attractive the fourth uh, door dimension is shwa shwa means dog it literally creates dog like mentality that means dependent on others so people who have that kind of door plan and the people who living in that land or home they will have very little or no gains in life and they will be practically like dogs then the fifth door is uh, considered rishaba rishaba is uh, bull so bull is known for working very hard so this kind of door brings a lot of success but with hard work like a bull so it's also auspicious the sixth door dimension is khara khara means donkey so literally struggling like a donkey no higher purpose in life living like practically beast so people who plan that kind of door they will develop similar mentality like a donkey seventh is called gaja dwar now gaja means elephant so it's also considered one of the auspicious doors uh, generally brings lot of success fame and many spouses so uh, this is especially because gaja is especially known for having many many female companions so anyone living in such a home will have many spouses and a lot of success and fame as well and eighth door is kaka kaka means a crow gradual destruction of all the possessions and everything a person has like a crow he will dwindle everything in the life will be dwindled so uh, these are the eight door dimensions so how do we uh, plan these dimensions the basic guideline is uh how you calculate which door dimension we have for example you know in, in jagannath puri we have heard the main entrance from from uh, where most of the devotees enter is gaj simhadwar no simhadwar is the main entrance where the jagannath rathatra begins from that considered simhadwar so that is actually a dimension so uh, how this dimension is achieved the length and width of the door you multiply with each other and then divide the sum with 8 so when we divide the sum with the 8 there can be total 8 remainders we are not talking about the result of the division but the remainder will be there so the remainder will be possibly between 0 to 7 so first door dhaja dwara is when the remainder is 1 similarly the second dhumra dwara is when the remainder is 2 uh 
Simadwara is when the remainder is 3. Shwadwara is when the remainder is 4. Rishabha when the remainder is 5. Khara when the remainder is 6. Gaja when the remainder is 7. And Kaka when the remainder is 0. So in this way that the different dimensions of the doors are achieved. Understanding this calculation means you can actually customize the door dimension as you like for every door kind. Dwajadwara, you can have a small door, you can have a big door as well. Similarly, Simhadwara, you know, or Kakadwara, or Rishabhadwara, Ghajadwara, all those doors you can have smaller or big doors, but you have to make sure that uh, the remainder is appropriate. Say, for example, you take uh, the height of the door as 95 inches and the width is 35 inches. That will bring a remainder of 5, giving us a Rishabad Dwar. No. So, uh, you can plan accordingly. So, this is how the different door dimensions are calculated. Now, when uh, the door is planned, we have to also make sure that there are no obstructions to the front gate or the door of the building or plot because any obstructions to the front gate uh, will uh, create inauspiciousness and nullify the good effects of the door even if you have the auspicious doors like Dhaja or, or Simha or, or even Rishabha and Kajadwar it will nullify the auspicious effect and create inauspiciousness so obstruction could be from the trees. So if you have planted a tree right in front of your entrance or your door or piercing road coming from the other direction or a pole or a pillar or an opposite home having this entrance right in front of your entrance you know, or corners of the opposite building. There is a building in front of your door. The corner is exactly facing your home. These are not considered some of the auspicious things. They are considered bheda for the door. You know, they are, bheda means uh, piercing. They destroy the good effects of the door. So this should be planned accordingly. This is all about the entrance or doors of a plot or the building. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.